Tell me a little bit about the Australian Rural Leaders Program and uh, why the group comes together. So the Australian Rural Leadership Program is a 59-day program. We run over 17 months and we select senior leaders from a whole bunch of different industries and from very different geographical locations from Australia. We bring this diverse group together to try and broaden their outlook on leadership rather than narrow it. We're not trying to make them experts in a particular field, but see that there are some great synergies of working with diversity, working with people who think and, and who um, have very different backgrounds to themselves. So that they're selected to come on the program um, and they're sponsored uh, by different sponsors to come here. And we really try and take them from a place of... Um, uh, we start with you know, looking inward and, and reflecting and building on themselves as individuals and then extending their influence further and further out from them. Uh, we think that you know, leadership is much easier if you're leading people that are the same as, as you, uh, that agree with you, but that's extremely rare. It doesn't really happen. And real leadership is about being able to lead someone different and being able to bring those people with you, not just race ahead. When you're talking, you asked about trust before and why that's important for this group. Trust is almost like the the, cover, the, um, the agreement or the contract between the leader and the group. And if you don't have that, uh, the leader has nothing. You know, you can't force people to change. You can't force people to come along with you. Um, but if there's that level of trust and you can see something beyond where the group is and, you, and you're able to create an environment where the group can acknowledge that and the group can work the solution to move that, then you're in a much better space to deal with some of these complex issues. Tell me a bit about what the experience has been like during this session in Sydney. What have the sessions in included? So th this is an interesting week, this one. We've actually split our time between Canberra and Sydney. And uh, we've gone deliberately from the halls of Parliament House, where decisions are made at a national level, to the back streets of Darlinghurst and King's Cross here, where there's some very vulnerable Australians and, and very um, big social issues there. And so we've tried to contrast the two different parts of Australia and look at how leadership is present in both of those. How, how you can influence people on a national uh, level through the Senate and through the, the different lawmaking bodies there and also how you can influence people on a one-to-one -one personal thing by reaching out to homeless people or people with drug addiction or mental health. Um, the principles are similar, um, the situation's very different. And it has a very strong effect, I think, on, on um, the group. They realise that um, people are more than their stereotype. Uh, you know, and that includes politicians. They think, gee, that, that fellow's not too bad. Or, or a homeless person, wow, that, that guy's really smart. Um, and you challenge some of your preconceived ideas about that. So what's your experience been having been a part of this and led it for some time? What kind of transformation do you see over the 18 months in terms of, of leaders? Obviously, it's a very competitive program. People yes. who come are already skilled and, and qualified. But what kind of transformation are you most likely to see or what's your experience been? Uh, what, one of the common things I see is that people start the program with all the answers. Uh, and by the time they finish it, they actually feel they know less, they, but they have more questions. And that's, that's really important to us, that leadership is about asking questions, not just coming in with a solution and saying, this is the answer, if you just follow this, you'll all be right. And so getting them to be more aware of the subtleties of the greyness in the arguments and to, to question themselves and to and to seek out difference. You know, to go and find a different opinion to yourself when coming to a decision is, is pretty important. Uh, so that, that's what we see. We see in some ways it's like a maturing of the person. Um, they're not more definite necessarily. They're not even more confident necessarily in what they do, but they're certainly wiser in the way they approach complexity. And uh, I think they, they leave seeing that it's not just them, that they have a network of people they can rely on, that they can engage with and that they can really make a difference if they, if they reach out.